For more than 50 years, you have trusted Mel Showers to bring your family the stories that matter. Tonight, people from across the Gulf Coast telling their own stories about Mel Showers. News 5 spoke with people across our viewing area, all wishing Mel farewell. As far back as the very first time I could, you know, remember watching TV with my mom and dad, he was on TV. From Pensacola. We only had three channels then, three, five, and ten, and he was on channel five then. To Fairhope. Oh, love him. I'm going to miss him. I'll uh, be sure and tune in. People wishing Mel the best after 50 years. And here in Mobile, Mel getting some unexpected guests to watch his last shows. I don't like surprises, but this is a surprise I could take any day. Mel's son and grandsons coming all the way from Dallas. They've seen him on TV, but they've never seen the behind the scenes, so we had to come in for his last day. I'm speechless because I, when I come here, it's just I know him as my granddad, not as a news anchor, and to like see what he does on an everyday basis is amazing. And while Mel Showers may be signing off. Do you all know what's happening today? What's happening today? Go ahead, say excuse me. Yes. <laughs> we may have a new generation of showers to look forward to. We'll see about trying to keep the other boys out of the business. <laughs> I'm a is 87. Reporting across the Gulf Coast. I'm Brianna Hollis. Dana Winter. And Cody Long. For WKRG News 5.